fornication. The record was peppered with bittersweet songs inspired by the hard lessons the band had learned. With the Us, it's really about always staying true to our hearts and always being open to grow even though it's painful because growth is always painful. How long, how long will I slide? For the Peppers, pain paid off. Headlined by introspective songs like Scar Tissue and Other Side, Californication became the group's most popular album to date, selling a stunning 13 million copies worldwide. With the release of Californication, the Red Hot Chili Peppers re-emerged as a vital act. Nobody would have expected it at that time was the peak of this uh, teen pop craze. It was very surprising, actually, because we'd kind of not been around for a while. The Peppers packed their bags for a triumphant world tour then returned to L.A. to work on their follow-up album, By The Way. It is set for release in July of 2002. We spent a lot of time in the rehearsal studio just going over every note and trying to find the, the most simple, beautiful way we could to express, you know, the most complex feelings. The music we've, we've done now has, has surpassed my expectations of what I ever would really have thought we were capable of doing. Um, on ourselves anymore. To the Red Hot Chili Peppers, it is only the latest chapter in a long journey. One that began back in high school when three boys built a friendship with their insatiable enthusiasm for life and music. I think that if Halal could look down and, and see what we're doing today, I think he'd be incredibly proud and uh, happy for us because even though he never really got to experience this aspect of the dream, I think he'd be down for it. We have all this time behind us to look at and to like see where we've made mistakes and what we've done to hurt ourselves or to hurt the band. And, and it's like now we can be together and, and like we know the bottom line is the love and respect for ourselves and for our music. to affect each other. We're almost too close and too much one and the same to even talk sometimes. You know, when Flea cries, I cry. And when Flea smiles, he makes me smile. It's 